Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Um, when I was younger, I would always want to take days off. I was allowed to take some days off because of the headaches I had, but only if I continued to do well in school. I would remember taking three days off, which was the most in a week. I was what my teachers called a warrior, but later we found out that I had schizophrenia and trauma. This made me grow this made growing up very hard. I was worried about what others were not worrying about and school got overwhelming. This resulted in anxiety and breakdowns. Sometimes I was super productive and other days I couldn't get anything done. This was all happening during a time when mental mental health wasn't talked about as much as it is now. Sometimes I used those days to the fullest. Others, I didn't need those days at all. But the fact that it was an option is what kept me a healthy, happy, and happy student. Now I'm here today to speak about using those skills that I learned as a kid to help other students with mental challenges. I'm here to offer you some insight on mental health and how we got here. But first, not everyone has a mental, mental illness like I do but all of us have mental health. We have a brain that needs to be cared for. Our head and body are connected to more than just our neck after all. Mental illness comes out as he headaches, nausea, shortness of breath. So since mental health affects us all, shouldn't, shouldn't we be coming up with a solution? This brings me to my second story. In my teenage years, Mental health was, became a bigger problem in my hometown, which was shaken, which was touched. My hometown, which was touched by many suicides, and I saw these tragedies shake my community. Suicide is the second cause of death. From ages ten to twenty-four, some students got together to build a house bill, so it allowed students to take mental health days off from school. When, the, when, as you would, the same way as you would take a physical day. Other times, oftentimes, those days make you feel better or worse. When I would take those days off, that bill was signed into law. This was groundbreaking for students. Let's say a student falls behind in school and needs help. Maybe they never talked about mental health, but now is the time they can use those days off. Schools can use those days as mental health days. If a student takes too many too many days off, they are referred to a counselor as before um for a check-in. It is a it is able to catch students before it is too late. One of the main things is stepping up and as is the hardest step so we hope that the lives the law saves lives. Other states are trying to pass the bill. The House bill is major because it is equal and connected. Take health care, for instance. If you had to give up CPR, would you at least know a bit, a little bit of what to do? Most likely, yes, because you see it everywhere, and it is offered everywhere. I was trained in my junior high school days. To, to 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 do CPR well, what if I had tr what if I was trained to see to cope with my mental health crisis I love to see a world where each of us has the toolkit to help those who are going through mental health it shouldn't be allowed and it is okay not to be okay. It is always okay to take a break. It shouldn't be all day, but it can be a few moments to check in with yourself. If you're in a race, maybe and you may sprint and burn yourself out. You may hurt yourself for pushing too hard, but if you pace yourself and take it slowly, you are bound to be successful in the race. So please, look after teens and kids in your area, in your life, and especially those who are looking like they have it all together. Mental health is not going away, but as a team, we can manage them by looking 
after one another. As my brother would say, take a break once in a while. Thank you guys for your time today, and thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the speech, and I'll see you guys in the next speech.